Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at other hardware needed for data transfer. This is a network. Now, this bad boy in the middle can be four different devices you could use. And we're going to look at each device. So this box could be what's called a hub. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a hub. And what that does is simple. It's a simple device this hub which allows the computers in a network to join together. They're able to share files with each other. So this person here in the top can share a file with the person next to them. Happy days. Also, it can act as an internet connection so you can connect to the internet using a hub. Now, if you don't want a hub, you can actually go out to the store and buy a switch. Now, a switch is very similar to a hub. So what it does, it joins these computers together. But a switch is more intelligent than a hub. With a switch, let's imagine that this person in the top wants to load up PowerPoint. The switch will send PowerPoint directly to the person in the top left. It's fast. The person gets it straight away. But on a hub, it doesn't know who's asked for PowerPoint. It could be in person number two, person number three, person number four, etc, etc. Therefore, the hub sends it the data to everybody, which means that the network performance is slower. So switches are more intelligent. It sends the packet of data, which is being asked, so in this case PowerPoint, it will send a packet of data of PowerPoint to the computer which wants it. So it reduces the amount of data traveling around the network, which therefore makes the network faster. You then have the router, which most of you, or router, as you American wannabe Cayman people say. Now, the router can be wired or wireless, and it can join several wired or wireless networks together. So if at home you've got a few different networks, it'll join them all together and it'll give you a single access point to the internet using a single connection so that basically means all you need is one router or router you can have lots of different networks and it'll allow you all those devices to connect to the internet just through the router finally you can have a bridge in the middle now imagine you've got a company which has got thousands of people in one massive office building. You might have more than one local area network. So let's imagine that computer A and computer B are from the finance department. Computer C is from the sales department and they're part of LAN B, local area network B, which is on the ground floor. LAN A is on the top floor of, let's say, 30 stories. The bridge can connect two different, or more than two, local area networks together to create a large local area network and it allows data to be passed between them.